this is a little weird because, I don't know if y'all heard, but uh, a gentleman named Danny went first, and uh, he told the story of our very first date. Uh, I told him I wasn't a serial killer, and I told him he didn't look like my grandmother. It went really well. But here we are. We're back. This is the third or fourth. I lose count. I just get starry-eyed. I get so excited. And yet here I am. I'm going to tell a story about an ex-boyfriend. Sorry, Danny. Ignore this. And yet don't, because this is a life lesson to be learned. So I was, I was dating a gentleman. We'll refer to him as, uh, as Bustin, maybe Maybe Crustin, maybe Crustin, let's call him Crustin. I'm not a big fan lately. But um, we dated for, I don't know, two or three years, depends on who you ask. I thought it was three, it was only two. Uh, and we got to Christmas around the second year. We didn't talk about Christmas because we didn't make it to Valentine's Day, and, and then there's today, and this makes me feel that. Okay. Um, but. Dustin and I, we, we got real close. Crustin, oh, sorry, Crustin, people might know him. Uh, so Cr Crustin and I got really close, and we, and by close, I mean, like, let's be honest, who doesn't share a Netflix password that your parents actually possess? But you give it to your boyfriend because he's 43 but doesn't want to pay for his own, and you're only 34, and you have parents who would give to you because you're a millennial. Uh, so that's how close we were. Uh, and so we got to Christmas, and a couple weeks before, Creston said to me, uh, I'm not really good at giving gifts. And I said, I know. We've been through my birthday at least once. <laughs> and it wasn't cute. I was disappointed, but I got over it. But Christmas came, and I thought to myself, Self, what is it that you could do for Creston that he would be really, he would be really pleased with? And I thought, all right, let me reflect on the year. And uh, maybe, two, maybe two months prior, his bike had been stolen. Right off of 13th Street, they were doing construction of some sort. They removed a, a bike lock pole. Somebody ran off of it. I don't know. He told a long story about it. I, I didn't li I'm a good gift giver. I'm just not a good listener. Uh, so I thought, I thought, all right, I'm going to get him a bike. So I went to a website where you could build your own bike. And I was like, well, what am I going to do? I don't ride a bike. He rides bikes. He likes to ride to work. OK, fine. He works at a university. It's in town. It's toward the north. I don't know if you know Creston, but I don't, I just let's just pretend like you don't. So um, I thought, all right, I'm going to get him a bike. And so I go to this website, and you can customize the bike. And his favorite color is orange. And I got a bike for him. It had orange tires. It had orange handlebars. The brake pads were orange. The helmet was black, but the rest of it was orange, and it was the best. The tricky part was that it was delivered in a box, so I had to put it together. I didn't go so well. I put the handlebars on backwards. He had to have a fix. That's like, that was a New Year's story, and we're going to go there later, maybe, maybe next time. But I gave him this bike, and I was very excited. <laughs> And I said to him, you can't come home. Come home around 5 o'clock because I'm working on something. This is maybe like December 23rd. And, uh, and he rolls in, and he's all excited, and he like, gets in the door, and he sees the bike. And he's like, oh, my God, I can't believe you got me a bike. That's so thoughtful. My bike was stolen. This is orange. I love you so much. And I was like, I love you so much, too. And we had this beautiful moment. And then in my head, I was like, am I getting a Christmas present? I don't know. Merry Christmas. Where's Jesus? That's like, Jesus is in Christmas, right? And so he, uh, he did, in fact, have a Christmas present for me. I don't know if you all can tell, but um, I'm super butch. And I'm, like, super handy, really into fixing things. Um, and so he gave me um, a toolbox. Which, is, you know, that's cool. Everybody needs to use a toolbox, right? Everybody's got like a pipe to fix or something, whatever you people do. <laughs> I don't do it. I, I pay people to do it. I don't pay people to do it. I live with my grandmother. You heard the story. <laughs> so he gave me a toolbox. But here's the thing about the toolbox. Um, the toolbox was in the shape of a uh, Jackie Kennedy Onassis hat box, like a pillbox hat, right? It was like bright pink. 
Not bright, but that's actually not fair to her. It wasn't bright pink. It was like a muted pink. It was beautiful, right? But the handle was broken. Uh, the latch was broken. He got it secondhand, and it contained half the tools that were supposed to be in it. And he thought this was hilarious. And I thought to myself, I bought you a bike. And I put it together for you. I put the handlebars on backwards, but who cares? I bought you a bike. So I took the uh, the... What do we call those? They're, I don't know, they're not, they're not dick clippers, but they're like wire snippers or something. And so I, uh, I snipped the clip on the Apple TV and I said, you know what, Dustin? <gasps> Crustin. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. Enjoy your bike ride. I gotta go, bye.